Yeah, man, I've converted the Pentagon's war room into a giant theater specifically for the K-On rewatch. Wouldn't miss it for the world, Sleepy Joe. See you tomorrow. Bros, that K-On rewatch went so freaking hard. I can't believe you were bawling so hard during the Ozasaw song, Donald. Shut up, Barack. You were crying, too. Perhaps. It was a great idea to turn the Pentagon's war room into a theater, Joe. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Anything for my otaku boys. Joe, don't use that word. Anyway, who was that annoying army guy who kept bothering us during the show? I don't know, dude. He kept trying to say something about Chinese troops landing on Taiwan. Like, shut up, man. Ozasaw just got a funny tan. I know, right? I'm not trying to hear the DEFCON 1 alert when there's some serious Mio X Ritsu energy happening on screen. No cap. By the way, some people were wondering why no one mentioned Yui as a best girl in our best girl debate. I just want to let you all know that Yui is a normie tier best girl. On God, if you even think the airhead is better than the forehead, you tripping. Moogie should make Yui pay her back for all the cake and delicious treats that she provides. No lie, Yui is like the Joe Biden of Hokago tea time. No offense, Sleepy Joe. Come on, man, you're going to upset the Yui fans. All three of them? While she isn't my favorite, she is still a top tier girl. Her simple mind is what makes her really cute and funny. Or when you put those words together. Joe, stop. Well, now that we've rewatched the best anime, what do you fellas think is the worst anime? I hate that JoJo's bizarre adventure. I mean, who wants to watch a bunch of metrosexuals go ghost hunting? Most overrated show. Are you kidding me, Joe? JoJo parts two and three are actual Kino. Your sleepy ass must have fallen asleep during part one. Donnie, you're forgetting that part two and three are only a third of what's animated. I won't disagree with you, but they just made JoJo twinkier and twinkier afterwards, and I'm just not into that. I got to part two, and I really like the scene where JoJo saves Corn Pop from the police, Damn but it, when Joe. those three gay Aztec dudes showed up, I was out. Those Aztec dudes are literal peak natty, and you're just jealous. Also, Obama, don't call the later parts Twinkie when you're looking like that priest from part six. Oh, hell no. Nah. See, you JoJo fans always have to make a JoJo reference out of everything. Y'all are the most schizo anime fans I've met. I've seen your JoJo playlist on YouTube, Don. It's like 2,000 videos long. That's because JoJo spans such a wide variety of settings and situations that you can connect many real-world things to it. It's literally an endless source of memes. Bro, Donald, when we got Dunkin' Donuts the other day, you said the donuts looked like Giorno's hair. Afterwards, you punched it and said, Shine Kakyoin. I think that was reaching hard. Don't forget the time I had an asthma attack, and Don literally asked me if I was practicing hormone. You guys know that hating JoJo is a JoJo reference, right? Will you shut up, man? Obama, just tell us which anime you think is the worst. Neon Genesis Evangelion. I hate Evangelion. Based AF. That's an actual overrated anime, Joe. Wait a minute, guys. Ava is, like, totally kino. Did you even watch the movie? Yes, Joe. The climactic scene of the movie was literally drawn with crayons. No one wanted to fund that dog water series. No, I mean, like, did you see the beginning of that movie? Like, the very first scene? Oh, you have to be kidding me. How typical. The reason Joe thinks Eva is a good show is because they show a teenager jerking it to teen boobs. Come on, man. That's what Jill and I put on before we get freaky. Jeez, bro. What about the other 99% of that hot garbage? Ooh, look how cool and smart and esoteric we are putting all this mysticism stuff in our anime. Show the damn robot fights. No cap on God, Donnie. Goran Logan did the mecha style way better and had an actual engaging story. Okay, but Ava isn't about the mecha, it's about the psychological impact of a worldwide catastrophic event on a la team La la la, who cares, Joe? Go take your pretentious crap anime somewhere else. And Barack is right. Goran Logan is way better and has a hot tomboy love interest. Now you're speaking my language. Yoko is a sexy 14-year-old, huh, guys? Just like the teenagers in Ava? Oh. Um, um, uh, okay, how about Code Geos? That's the sickest mecha anime out there. I'd say it's an anime almost as good as k -Own. I agree. Don't forget Code Geass has Colin, who has me down bad. I mean, the milk truck has arrived. Pardon my language. Facts. Although my money's on C2, she got me wild and on God. What the hell is wrong with you two? Anyway, that show is too edgy and political for me. What a snooze fest. Joe, every show is a snooze fest for you. Whatever, Donald, just tell us what you think is the worst anime. Don't even get me started. Love freaking live. Oh, here we go, Barack. You just set him off. No, Joe. This is personal. Every year there is a new series with a bunch of new one-dimensional characters who everyone fights over. Oh, pick your waifu. How? There are 40 billion girls to choose from, and they're all the same. But Don, Love Live has a huge fan base and gets high ratings from critics every year. Yeah, Donald Love Live has good girls, too. Look at Rena or Kalsumi or Nico or Ruby. You know what else gets high ratings, Obama? My administration. Got him. Naruto and One Piece. Love Live is for normies who don't know a damn thing about a good show. 
Every cookie cutter character is designed with one trait that the zombie fans will latch onto to determine who their favorite girl is. And Joe, I can't even criticize you for liking the Lolly characters because they were designed to bring in people like you. Yikes, bro. Tell us how you really feel. I mean, some girls are pretty bland, but you can't say that about the developed ones. What about Ellie, Daya, or Ren? We get it, Barry. You want to be stepped on by the tall mommies. See what I mean? Every installment has the same girls. The silly protagonist, the mean mommy with a cute side, the energetic and playful girl, the caring mommy, and the Lolly. whoop dee do there's your whole roster. Wait a minute, Donald, isn't that just Yui Mio, Ritsu, Mugi, and Azusaw? I, 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 uh, okay, but Kay, on is based and Love Live is gay. Well, when you put it that way, I guess you're right. Not gonna lie, though, those little plushies go hard.